In this problem, we're asked to find integrals of the following polynomials. Uh, we will recall that um, uh, we have to, there's a two-step process. It's the reverse of finding. Uh, it's basically the reverse power rule, uh, or the power rule for integration. And we know that we have to add one to the exponent. Um, that's because uh, in order to get 9x to the 8, I had to take the derivative of some function. And we know that when we take derivatives, we reduce the power. So um, when we take integrals, we have to do the opposite, in the opposite order. And then we um, divide coefficient by uh, new exponent. So this is exactly the reverse. Normally, we would multiply first and then subtract 1. We're working backwards and doing the opposite, so we're adding 1 and then dividing by the coefficient. So in letter A, um, well, our answer is going to be x to the ninth. And then we need to divide the coefficient by the new exponent, which is 9, and uh, then add plus c. So we should be able to very, excuse me, this should be, um, let me take that back. This right here should be a 9. So as you probably noticed already, you didn't have to use this rule. It's pretty noticeable that the answer would just be x to the ninth plus c. The 9 dropped down, subtracted 1 from the exponent. It just so happens that this coefficient is perfectly in line with the coefficient that pops down when we take a derivative. And we have our arbitrary constant here. Uh, so the integral of 8x to the 9th, well, I'm going to increase the power by 1, so make it x to the 10th, and then divide the coefficient by that. I'll add my arbitrary constant. Letter c, um, we're going to add 1 to the exponent. So we'll have, instead of 2.1, we'll have 3.1. And um, to account for that, we are going to have to take 1.2 divided by 3.1 and um, add our arbitrary constant. In letter d, uh, we have a, a a function which has individual power function terms. So we can actually distribute that integral, just like when we take derivatives term by term, we can actually think about it like this. Now you don't need to write it like this, but it might be helpful to think in this fashion, um, plus the integral of 3 dx. Okay, So we're basically working term by term. Um, so this is going to be x to the fourth. Coefficient's 1, so it's, uh, we need to divide that by the new exponent, minus this is going to be x to the third, divide the coefficient by the new exponent, plus, well, if we have, what do we have to take the derivative of to get a constant? And well, what, what kind of function has a, has a constant rate of change of three? Well, it would have to be a function that has a slope of three. So three x is what we would get. And then of course, we need to add our arbitrary constant since we don't know if we've eliminated one in the process. So then here, um, we'll do kind of the same thing. I won't write all the terms out, but it's gonna be x to the ninth, um, take 1.4 divided by the new exponent minus 7.1 x to the fourth divided by 4. And it doesn't matter whether you put the whole thing um, over 4, just this part right here, because it's implied the whole thing that this is uh, x to the 4 over 1. Uh, plus, this will be 6 x to the third over 3. So you can reduce that if you'd like. That's going to be equal to 2. And um, then we'll have minus pi. Well, pi is a constant, so this means that this term is a constant rate of change. Its function had to be a linear function. And we'll add our arbitrary constant.